life with guitar. My life with guitar. My life with guitar. I just enjoy my guitar. My life with guitar. Today's the 18th of February, 2018. I'm just gonna fool around. I wrote a song, it's called Happy Birthday, but I'm practicing it, it's gonna come later, so that's something you can look forward to. It was a song for Neil. Um, Neil Hunter was, is my ex-boyfriend's son, and I loved him, but I had to leave him. Um, but Neil is an amazing person. So I wrote him a song called Happy Birthday on his birthday. It was yesterday. It was um, February 17th. How great it is to say things that people haven't said before until I started to go outside and talk to people and I realized that everybody is original and everything that everyone says all the time is original. And different thought patterns going through people's brains all the time. Sometimes we get stuck in these thought patterns that we repeat, repeat. I don't think it's healthy. I think that we should always be more ad hoc. Don't practice the routine too much and just do whatever ways to spend your free time. I don't know if anybody's really done any deep thinking about about what to do with your free time before but free time it's human need people need free time even in their budget they need a slush fund they need money to just throw around and do whatever with because we're all humans right a free time that you spend with something that you're totally familiar with and I'm going to use my father's abstract art as an example it's not really free because it's more freedom for the viewer and it's not really free because you're already familiar with the patterns like you know primary colors you know geometric shapes how close is that to freedom if you're already so familiar with what type of medium you're going to use yeah it might be part of your identity but if you're already familiar with your identity then is that really Freedom? I don't know. Or is doing something completely different? Something that you never thought you would ever do in your whole, whole life. Like something, something that other people might do, but you've never done it. Do that. Live in the moment or living in the past or living in the future. So that's another question about what to do with your free time. Do you want to sit there and plan out something in the future? Is that freedom? because you're not doing it, you're not there. And if you're just going over and over what happened in the past, then is that freedom or does it have to actually be right now? It, can you define freedom? And what does it mean to you? Can you put that down in the comments? I would really appreciate it. Okay, if you become over preoccupied with editing your journal, are you still free? Is an editor free? Okay, is it more a question of the expression, the confined expression of the editor, or is it actually somehow an expression of freedom of the person who played guitar in the first place? <laughs> Just abstract art forces the viewer to be able to conduct a wider interpretation of the art as compared to a regular piece of art. So why do people hate abstract art so much? It's not because of the price, because lots of things are, are expensive. Like, you don't walk by any other expensive 
uh, pieces of property in the world and say, oh, I hate that because it's expensive. No. Um, other people say it's not worth it, it's a waste. But the, I think that the reason why people hate abstract art so much is because they, uh, they don't understand it and it forces themselves to express their freedom. They have to look at the art and they have to decide, how do I feel about this? And a new wide open sense of freedom, in my opinion. It, it creates hate. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like my random guitar playing is abstract art. And I feel as though me on this channel giving you the chance to interpret my guitar and just think and meditate and enjoy. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy my guitar. And that gives you the chance to reflect on your own sense of self-esteem and come up with these creative ideas of how you feel. So if you can possibly, please, please, please comment down below about what you think about my guitar playing in a deep, self-reflective, use big words way, then I would appreciate that so much because that would mean that we're actually creating art together. It's interactive. And I do care about you, and I do love you. Do you measure your freedom, and what does that say about you, and why? Do you, do you, your feelings about my guitar change depending on the time of day, the environment? Do, are you okay with being moody? Types of, what changes in your interpretation of my guitar? Like it's just, it's just a fun exercise, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> with guitar my life with guitar my life with guitar just enjoy my guitar